All right, everyone. I'm here with my good friend, Billy Tucci, here at Terrificon. Billy, how's it going so far? What's up, buddy? Good Not to see much. you, as always, man. Good to see you. Always a pleasure. You too. My, the pleasure's all mine. Thank you. So, uh, this is a pretty busy year for you from last Terrificon. Uh, talk oh, yeah. about some of the fun stuff that's been going on. Yeah, well, uh, doing a, a, a lot of covers for a lot of big publishers. I uh, did a Wonder Woman story uh, that's coming at Christmas time. Uh, just I uh, wrote a book. My series Appalachian Apocalypse came out from all six issues from Cave Press uh, Publishing, uh, Cave Pictures Publishing. I'm sorry. Uh, did this cover for the Overstreet Price Guide, the exclusive, sold out. Hey, Mr. Needleman, how are you? Sorry, doing an interview. Um, and uh, had a lot of Sandy. It's our 25th anniversary, 2019. And we've had a lot of huge she stuff came out. We did our special 25th anniversary editions. They sold out our exclusive San Diego Comic Con edition. Uh, did a really cool crossover event, um, cover crossover with Brian Polito of Lady Death. Um, working on Miss Fury, which comes out in 2020, and of course the return of she, with return with she Return of the Warrior. We launch on in September via Indiegogo, awesome. followed up by a Kickstarter campaign. So uh, it's been pretty cool. It's been real. Oh, and uh, of course, Zombie Sama, uh, another book I had. We had a real successful Kickstarter, followed up by an Indiegogo campaign for that. And we're fulfilling that book now. So it feels good. It feels great to be publishing again. And I guess I got my, my hands in a whole lot of, uh, a lot of cakes, I guess, <laughs> if you will. Pots or whatever it's called. So. Awesome. And uh, yesterday you were telling me about San Diego th yeah. this year. Uh, yeah. And you took home some, uh, some hardware. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was, uh, I, I got a, an Inkpot Award which, uh, for those who don't know, is one of the most prestigious awards in comics. Why they gave it to me, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, I guess for being, being around for so long, I guess, <laughs> they give it to us old guys. But uh, it's great. They give it to probably 10 people a year. Uh, and they range from, you know, you know uh, actors. I think Mark Hamill got one. Uh, I know Scott Snyder got one. Uh, myself. And uh, it was really cool to be in this, in this really great fellowship and to be recognized by the industry for, I guess it's a Lifetime Achievement Award or something like that. They recognize what you do in comics, the, your body of work, but I guess also for being, they said something like it's an ambassadorship, I guess for being a, a good a good chap, yeah, you I guess. That. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I was, I was totally moved by that. They hit me at our panel we had. They were giving me a spotlight panel on Billy Tucci, and I'm like, I don't want to do a spotlight panel on me. I said, let's do it called crowdfunding comics because I'm so into, I love this new golden age of self-publishing via Kickstarters and Indiegogos. And it's so cool because of people that were normally not able to do their own comics can now do them. And you go directly to the consumer first and the consumers will buy your book. And that great, that's great because now you become a bona fide publisher. And now the next step then is that you can get in, into Diamond Comic Distributors, you know, get into comic shops and get it out there. But it's a fascinating fascinating thing where you are one you are one on one with the customers with the fans and they they're buying your, their books directly from you so it's a very personal uh, boutique type of publishing relationship and it's it's great so we had that panel and I had Brian Polito on it I had um, uh, uh, Jimmy Pamiati, uh, Doug Tenapel, uh Brian Miller uh, JC Vaughn a couple of people who've, who've had really successful crowdfunding campaigns and we had this panel and it was sort of a, it was really like a very, uh, it was entertaining because we were all laughing and having a good time. <laughs> but it was also very educational to teach people how they too can do their own comic book. And you can become Stan Lee. There you go. You know, <laughs> so it's, it's pretty cool. And they gave me the Impact Award there at that panel. That's awesome. Which was, shocked me and <laughs> blew me away, so. But. Awesome, and uh, lastly, uh, you have some shows coming up. Where else can uh, fans yeah. maybe see you? Well, we are, uh, I have the, uh, right now, I will be, for those people in Pennsylvania, uh, we have the show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, in September 22nd, 23rd. Then, of course, the big New York Comic Con will be at New York Comic Con. Uh, I think it's the, it's the first week in October, 3rd, 4th, 5th, or something like that. And then uh, two weeks later, I think it's the 22nd, 23rd, is the Baltimore Comic Con. And then, of course, I'll be in New Hampshire, in Nashville, New Hampshire, with Jimmy Pamiati and Frank Thierry and Amanda Connor for the Southern New Hampshire Comic Bash. Awesome. And that's a great show up in Nashua at the Holiday Inn. They've got, uh, they have a huge Halloween party uh, afterwards, a big costume party, and it's actually in this ballroom, and there's literally a giant pirate ship built inside this ballroom <laughs> in Nashua, New Hampshire. And, uh, and that's a lot of fun. So. Awesome, awesome. Billy, yeah. as always, a pleasure, you, thank buddy. you. Good to see you. <laughs>
Thanks, guys.